Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to track a ball so that it stays in the center of the screen at all times. So this is the original footage and it's just two people bouncing the ball back and forth. And here is the end result. The, the ball has been tracked and stabilized so that it's always on dead center of the screen. So let's get started and let's drag your footage, original footage, to make a new composition. Uh, we're going to trim the video that I do not want to track, so we'll take the left tab, slide it over to where we want to begin, and we'll stop it right about right about there. So we'll take the uh, right tab, slide it over, and right click on the mouse, and we'll trim the composition. So we're going to be tracking about uh, 16 seconds of video. Go over to your tracker, open up your tracker, uh, click on stabilize motion, and make sure that the motion target is uh, your video layer. and you'll see a tracker point. And this is what will be tracking the ball. Left click with your mouse anywhere between the outer square and the inner square and drag it over to the ball. And this is not real critical but uh, just enlarge the uh, the tracker square so it covers the uh, the ball that you're going to be tracking and uh, click track forward and as you can see it started to track the ball but once he threw it the tracker is unable to keep up with that fast motion so as a result, you're going to have to track it manually, frame by frame. So let's back up to where the tracker lost the ball. Uh, right about there, we'll delete these keyframes. And now we're going to have to track it manually, frame by frame. And it's very time consuming, monotonous work. It requires a lot of patience, but uh, you build up a, a rhythm and you get through it pretty quickly. Uh, so hit page down. Page down on your keyboard will advance the video by one frame. So hit page down, drag your tracker point to recenter it over the ball. Go page down, recenter the tracker point. So it's just repetitious over and over. Page down, uh, recenter your track point. Page down, recenter your track point. Page down, recenter it, and over and over and over again. And like I say, it is very um, monotonous work, but uh, you'll like the end result. So I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more here how how we do it. If you zoom out and in again with your mouse wheel, it will recenter right where the track point is. So you notice how I zoom out and then back in and it will recenter it. Or you can simply uh, left click and drag the tracker over to the ends of your viewer and uh, the picture will move accordingly so you can see what you're doing again. So there it bounced, uh, one more, and I'm not going to track anymore for you. Alright, so 
fast forwarded I have already tracked the video and this is the end result each one of these squares is a key frame uh, frame by frame and as you can see the motion of the ball it's kind of interesting so that's a that's what we've got after it took me about uh, 20 minutes to track seven 16 seconds of video all right so now uh, apply uh, make sure your motion target uh, is right and you do want your X and Y to be uh, tracked and apply it and this is what you get but you notice those the the black margins are moving around it looks awful we need to fill in those margins well first we'll click on the grid uh, guide and you'll notice right in the center is the crosshairs that crosshair we want to be right in the middle of the ball so we have to physically move this layer so start at the beginning of the timeline uh, reposition the video layer by adjusting the X axis and Y axis until the crosshairs is exactly in the middle of that ball so that looks pretty good let's play it and as you can see the crosshairs is right on the ball and it is dead center so now let's uh, add an effect motion tile it's under stylize motion tile drag it over and put it on your video layer click on uh, the mirror edges and adjust the width output width until those black the blackness is uh, filled in and do the same to the height and go through your video and you probably have to increase the output width and height just go through your video and uh, if you see any of the, uh, the black margins just uh, increase your output width and or height as necessary All right, let's turn on our, uh, our, our grid guide again. As, as you can see, the, the crosshairs are right on that ball. The ball is dead center. All right, let's turn that grid back off. And now uh, we're gonna be cropping, so we wanna add a camera. So add a camera and the default camera is fine. We have to make our video layer 3D in order for the camera to, uh, to work. Okay, we're going to make this simple. We're going to be placing uh, keyframes uh, where we want to uh, zoom in uh, by increasing the z-axis. Click on the, uh, the time clock, add a keyframe and wherever we need to uh, zoom in more we'll increase the z-axis a little more it depends on how much of this mirror effect you want to see okay 
On the right side you can see a little bit of his reflected image and I do not want to see that so we'll zoom in. And right there on the left I don't want to see that person there either so we'll increase it more. Okay, I had another keyframe. And now I'm going to uh, copy this keyframe and paste There's that ball up there on top. Don't want that. We'll zoom in by increasing the Z axis again. And he drops the ball. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I like my viewers to see a grid on the screen so they can see for themselves that that ball is not moving and it is indeed in the center. So let's add a layer, a new layer, a solid, and we'll call it grid. Make it comp size. And we'll go to the effects, put in grid, and it's under generate. And as you can see on the screen is, oh, we don't have to adjust. Uh, you may have to adjust uh, the center of the grid to center it, uh, but we didn't have to here. I like to use the width and height sliders and slide it all the way over to 200. And this is what I put on the screen for a short while so the viewers can see that that ball is staying right on that center as promised. Okay, uh, we can also add some text. Uh, just put the text in the center of the screen and it appears to be on the ball. It's on the ball. And we can add a glow. That's kind of cool. The ball is glowing. You can do different things. Um, I've also tracked uh, someone's nose. Uh, it was a videotape of, a, of her face and I told her to move around side to side, up and down, and I tracked her nose and it's kind of a cute effect. So you can do lots of things with this. Alright, that pretty much uh, concludes my tutorial. I hope you learned something. Have fun!